A bridge in Vermilion County, the subject of local controversy. It's on State Road 163. It was recently declared a select historic structure, and as state and federal agencies discuss preservation measures, some involve changing the traffic flow. Will Price spoke to a local official who's working to find possible alternatives. Will. Since the bridge was dis declared a historic structure, the state's Department of Transportation works with numerous other agencies to decide how they will approach renovations. One possible alternative has local residents up in arms. It might look different when cars pass over State Route 63 over Brulitz Creek in the future. The Indiana Department of Transportation is working to address the deteriorating condition of the bridge, which is nearly 90 years old. A historic bridge analysis conducted by a consulting firm in 2021 identified narrowing the bridge to one lane and adding stoplights on each side as the preliminary preferred alternative for NDOT. But Vermilion County Commissioner Tim Yoakum says local residents are concerned about the proposal. I believe, and I think most people would agree, it's going to create problems with traffic and it probably will become a traffic hazard. Yoakum says he's been working to meet with the state to address these concerns or to have a meeting where the public can voice their thoughts. Yoakum says he suggested moving the bridge structure in order to keep the traffic flow the same. I would like to keep it the way it is, and then if, it's, if, if, there, if this, this bridge is so historical, why don't we move it to some other place? We've offered uh, to take and put it on one of our trail systems. A spokesperson with NDOT says that they are still working through the process to determine the next steps. It's a lot of walking through some of those procedures and standards that set federally. So we are still in the process of kind of talking through those steps. So I can tell you, you can expect to hear more information from us specifically regarding how the public can get involved very soon. And Yoakum says he hopes they can find a compromise as they move forward. No one here is against historical preservation because we, we love history and we want to preserve it. But, but when it gets to the place where the historical part becomes more important than the safety and the usage of the bridge, then we, we have a problem. Now, as for the timeline for when more information can be expected, NDOT says it could be sometime as soon as this week.